I am with all who fear you and observe your commandments. Alleluia. Ελέησον <Κι> Και άφησε τον Αβδού Αμαρτιών, παρακρίστω τον Αβδού Βασιλή και το ημών ετήσων, ο Μεθό. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κυρίου δε ηθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον. Ότι η Ανάσταση ζωή μακαρία για να απαυσείς, του κειμένου δούλων σου Αντωνίου Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, στη δόξα να απέμπομε, Don Arps with the Manaju Gagathon, Kizopiosup Nevmati Ninke Ai, Kays to say on us, Don Eon. Amen. Συνέτη σώμε και μαθήσω με τεσέντολα σου, ελέησον με κυρία. Ότι εγεννήθη, όσα σκόσεν πάκνη τα δικαιώματα σου και πελαθόμη, ελέησον με κυρία. Save me, or I have sought your desires. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Apoton grimado su, o que execlina o ti si eno mozeti sas me, eleison me kiriye. Turned away from your rulings, for you taught me these. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Kiros to be said, O Kirio, the Eskeda Sandonomosu, Eleison me Νεότερος εγώ ημίν και 
εξουδενωμένος τα δικαιώματα σου και πελανθόμην. Alleluia. Hear my voice in your love, O oh Lord, in your great mercy, in your justice give me life. Alleluia. Arcondes cate dioxame dorean και από τον λόγο σου εδηλία στην οικαδία μου. Αλληλούια. Let my soul live and I shall praise you and your commandments will help me. Αλληλούια. Επλανήθην ως πρόβατον Απολλολός ζήτησον τον δούλο σου ότι τα σέντολά σου ουκ επελαθώ μην αλληλούια. με τα δικαιώματα σου τον Αγίον ο χορός έβρε πηγή της ζωής και εσύ να παραδείσου εύρω την οδόν διά της μετανοίας το απολολός προβα τον εγώ ημί ανεκάλεσέ με Σωτήρ και σώσον με. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδάξω με τα δικαιώματα σου εικόνιμη της αρήτου δόξης σου που και στίγματα πέδωτες μάτων η χτήρισον τόσο πλάσμα δέσποντα και καθαρίσως η εσφαχνία και την πόθινη πατρίδα παράσχουμε παρά τη σου πάλι ποιο πολύ την με. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments, give rest to your servant, O God, and place him in paradise, where the choirs of the saints, O Lord, and the righteous will shine like stars of heaven. Give rest to your departed servant, and disregard all of his transgressions. Doxa Patri Geio Ke Agio Pneumati To tis lampes tis mias theotitos Efsevos imnis omevontes Agio Sino Patiro Anakos Ο συνάναχος Ιος και Θείο Πνεύμα φώτισον ημάς πιστης συλλατρεύοντας και του αιωνίου πήρος εξάπασον. O birth giver of God, pure and blessed. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o teo. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Δόξα Σύ ο Θεό, ο Θεό. Give rest with the saints, O Christ, to the soul of your servant, our brother Antonius. For there's now no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering, but life everlasting. Μετά το
rồi Του βίου τη φίδια με νηλίπησα με το χώ. Πια δόξα έστηκε νεπηγήσα με τα θετό. Πάντα σκιά σα στενέστερα. Πάντα ονείρο να πατήλω ρέντα. Μια ροπή και τα αυτά πάντα θα να το διαδέχεται. Αλλήν το φωτι Χριστέ του προσώπου σου και το γλυκασμό της ισορεότητος ον εξελέξον αναπαυσόν ως φιλάνθρωπος. And withers like a flower and passes like a dream every human being comes to their end when the trumpet will sound again the dead will rise like in a quake to greet you, O Christ our God. At that time grant, O Lord, that the one you have taken from us, the soul of your servant, be in fellowship with your saints. Panda Mateo di Stato Pina O Sauchi Pachi Metathanadot ο παραμένει ο πλούτος, ο συνοδεύει δόξα. Επεθών γάρο θάνατος, αυτά πάντα εξυφάνιστε. Διό Χριστό το αθανάτο βασιλεί βοήσομεν, το μεταστάνταν εξημών ανάπαψον, εν θα πάντων εστίν, Εφρενόμενον η κατοικία. Indeed, the mystery of death is awesome. How the soul is suddenly separated from the body. How the natural bond of being together is cut off by the divine will. So we pray to you, Lover and giver of mankind, <coughs> give rest to the one departed this life in the company of the just. Emnisi tu profitu vondos, ego imi yites podos, ke palin katenoisa en disni masin, και είδον τα εστά τα γεγυμνωμένα και υπον. Άρα της έστη βασιλεύσης στρατιώτης, η πλούσιος η παίνης η δίκαιος η αματολός, αλλά να πάψουν κύριε με τα δικαίων των δούλων σου, Os philanthropos. My beginning and my essence comes from your creative command. For it was your will to make me out of visible and invisible nature, a living human being. You formed my body from the earth, gave me a soul by your divine light. I've creating breath. Give rest for Christ to your servant in the land of the living, in the company of the righteous. Anapapso sodirimon zodota, on metestis as adelfon imon, Εκτον προσκέρον κράζον τα δόξα σύ. I weep and I will When I perceive death and see late In the grave thy beauty Fashioned for us in the likeness of God To be without form, without glory Without beauty What an amazing thing What is this mystery that happened around us? 
How were we delivered to corruption? How did we become united <coughs> with death? Surely by the will of God who gives to the departed rest. Doxa Patrikei o ke agio pneumati O thanatos su kyrie athanasias ye gone proxenos Y mi gare mnimati katetethis O kano padatis o sine octo Διό το μετασάντα να αναπαύσω να σπιλάνθρωπο. Όξα πατρίκε και αγίο πνεύματι και νυν και αγί και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Αγνή παθένε του λόγου φίλη του Θεού η μορμήτη. Η κέτε βενελέ ηθίνε την ψυχή να αυτού. Μακαρία η οδός η πορεύη σήμερον ότι τιμά Προσέξομαι ο Θεό μου προ Θεσσαλονίκη πρώτη επιστολή. Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα. Αδελφοί, που θέλω ή μα αγνοεί περί των κεκοιμημένων. Ή να μη λυπήστε καθώς και οι λυποί ή μη έχοντες ελπίδαν. Ή γα πιστεύομεν ότι Ιησούς απέθανε και ανέστη ούτω και ο Θεός τους νημηθέντας διά του Ιησού άξισιν αυτόν του ούτω γαρήμι λέγομεν λόγω Κυρίου ότι οι μισιζώντες υπεριλυπόμενοιν εις την παρουσίαν του Κυρίου ου μη φτάσομεν τους κοιμηθέντας ότι αυτός ο Κύριος εγγελέσματι εφωνή αρχαγγέλου και σάλπι και Θεού καταβίσσεται από ουρανού και οι νεκροί εν Χριστό αναστήσονται πρώτον επί τα ημείς οι ζώντες οι περιλυπόμενοι άμα συναυτείς απαγισσόμεσα εν εφέλες Ισα πάντηση του Κυρίου Ισα έρα. 
Their soul shall dwell in prosperity. To you, O Lord, I have cried, O my God. The reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Brethren, we could not have you ignorant concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive, who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Peace be unto you, O reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are the instrument to our evangelium, we are in the wisdom rise. Let's hear the Holy Gospel, peace be unto all. Get up, never mind this. Thank you, that you are in the year of Agnus Mapro. Os come. Doxa si, Kyrie, doxa si. Kyrios, procedentally thought, as was a donny with Eus. Amin, amin, lego, amin. Ότι τον λόγον μου ακούν και πιστεύουν το πέψα τι με έχει ζωήν αιώνιον και εις κρίσιν ου και έρχεται αλλά μεταβεύει και εκ του θανάτου εις τη ζωήν. Αμήν αμήν λέγω ημήν ότι έρχεται ώρα και νυν έστιν ότι νεκροί ακούσονται της φωνής του Ιού του Θεού και οι ακούσοντες ζήσονται. Ως περγάρο πατήρα έχει ζωήν είναι αυτό ούτως έδωκε και το Υιό Ζου είναι έχειν είναι αυτό και εξουσίαν έδωκεν αυτό και κρίσιν ποιήν ότι Υιός ανθρώπου εστιν. Μη θα μας δε τούτο ότι έρχεται ώρα είναι οι πάντες ή εν της μνημής ακούσονται της φωνής αυτού και εκπορεύσονται εις τα καθαπίσοντες εις ανάστασιν ζωής. Είδε τα φαύλα πράπ αξαντές εις Ανάστασήν Κρίσεως. Που δύναμε εγώ πίνε με αυτού δεν καθώς ακούω κρίνω και η κρίση μη δικαία εστίν ότι ούζητο το θέλημα το αιμό. αλλά το θέλημα του πεψαντός με πατρό. Δόξα Συ Κύριε, δόξα Συ God, in your goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray again for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, our brother, Antonius, and for the forgiveness of his every transgression, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O most curious of the host, talks to the vision of the entire week and above on them. Thy lay to the old Vasilian to run on. Και άφεση των αυτού αμαρτιών παρακριστώ τον Άτο Βασιλείο και το ημών ετισόμεθα. Κύριε Ελέησον, κύριε Ελέησον, κύριε Ελέησον. Του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Ελέησον. Ο Θεός του Μνεβάτου και πάση σαρκός. Όταν θάνατον καταπατήσει η άβλον καταργήσε και σημαντικός του ρησάμενος. Αυτός κύριε να άπαυσον την ψυχή του κειμένων δούλων σου Αντωνίου. Εν τω φωτεινό, αμήν. Εν τω φωτεινό, αμήν. Εν τω φωτεινό, αμήν. Εν τω πέδρα, ο δίν λύπη και στεναγμό. Παναμάρτημα, το παραφύπρακτεν λόγο, η έργο διενία. 
ως αγαθός και φιλάνθρωπος Θεός χώρισον. Ότι και εσύ είναι άνθρωπος, ο ζήσου και αμαρτήσει, σιγά μόνος εκ των αμαρτίας υπάρχεις, η δικαιοσύνη σου δικαιοσύνη στον αιώνα και ο λόγος σου αλήφ. The others pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, of spirits and of all flesh, who overcame death and destroyed the devil and gave life to your world, same Lord now give rest to the soul of your departed servant or brother Antonius, in a place of life. I mean. In a place of happiness. I mean. In a place of peace. I mean. Where there's now no more pain, sorrow, or suffering. Grace, merciful God, forgive every sin committed by him, whether by word, deed, or thought. Where there's no human being who lives and does not sin. You alone art without sin, Lord. Your righteousness is eternal, and your word is true. <speaking in Hebrew> Στην τον άρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την και και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Δόξα ο Θεός είναι ποιήσιμον δόξα εσύ. Ο και νεκρόν και ζών του νεξουσί εν έχουν. Ο σαθάντου βασιλεύς και νεστάς και νεκρόν. Χριστός ελιθενός Θεός ημών. Δεσπέρευτες που αναρχάνε το Ιησέφ του Μητρός. Τον έγινε δόξα και μαρήβε ως τόλων. Τον αιωσίο και θεοφόνο πατέρων ημών. Τον Αγίου είναι δόξον μπορώ να το Αβράμι Σάκη Ιακώβ του Αγίου και δικαίου φίλου του Λαζάρου Τραϊμέρου και πάντο των Αγίων. <laughs> Την ψυχή του εξημών μεταστάντος του λόγου του Αντωνίου εν σκηνές δικαίων τάξε Αμήν Εν πόλους Αβράμ αναπάξε Αμήν Με τα δικαίων συναλήθμιση Είμας δε λέησε ο σαγαθός και φιλάνθος και λέει μόν Θεός. Εμονία σου η μνήμη. Αξιόμα κάρις και κοιμήσετε αδερφέ ημών. Αμήν. Εμπερλάστη πιο μέμορη. Ο πρόεδρος Αντώνιος, 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 ο πρόεδρος Του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Υπνεύματος. 
I mean, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Βρισκόμαστε αγαπητοί μου αδελφοί σήμερα στον οίκο του Θεού για να δώσουμε τον τελευταίο ασπασμό στον αείμνηστο αδελφό εν Χριστό Αντώνιο Σφυρίου. Ήρθαμε αγαπητοί μου αδελφοί για να δώσουμε μία συμπαράσταση στα παιδιά του και στην οικογένειά του και να εκφράσουμε τα θερμά μας συλληπιτήρια στην οικογένειά του, εκ μέρους και όλων των χριστιανών που παραβρίσκονται εδώ στην Εκκλησία μας. Ευχόμαστε στο Θεό να δοθεί μία ανακούφιση και δύναμη για να περάσουν από τον αμέτρητο πόνο που περνάνε αυτές τις δύσκολες μέρες. We come today in the house of our Lord to remember the life and to give our brother in Christ, Antonius Firiu, a last embrace, a last kiss, our last personal farewell. I personally would like to extend my sincere condolences. I was in New York when this happened and I really felt the pain that you guys were going through. And I know that we, we prayed for this. We basically prayed that uh, that I would be able to come back here and do this funeral because the family requested it. And I think he lasted that long for him. He wanted me to be here also to do the prayers of repose for his soul because he knew that I loved him and I knew that he loved me. I will read you a little bit of his life later on after the eulogy. Again, but I would like to, my sincere condolence to the family for your loss and hope that our Lord in your time of need gives you comfort and strength to pull through these trying times. Death, uthanatos. What an ugly word, isn't it? Mia lexi pou, dem as are si mas kathol, san elin. Ute mis pistevo mes tin anastasi tu nipu. Του, του, του νεκρού. Όχι στο θάνατο του νεκρού. Ο θάνατος είναι κάτι που θα συμβεί σε όλους μας. Death will come to all of us. But this ugly word, a definition that the world in our society cannot define with a clear meaning. Death. What is death? How do we, the Orthodox, bring a clear view on how death affects us? If we take it in a negative way, we should be afraid of death. To others, life is filled with tragedies and hard times. But we don't have a tragedy here. He was 82 years old. He has children. His wife left him earlier. And now he goes and meets his wife. Oh my God, Anazina. I have memories of Anazina <laughs> with Adoni. And we've, we've shared those memories, haven't we? Together. But the good thing about our lives is that no one knows what the future will bring to us. He lived his life, 82 years old, you might say in today's world, it's not enough. But it was his time. And it's going to be our time also. No one knows when that will happen. You young people, and I'm glad to see young people, they came. The past Goyans and the Goyans today have come to give comfort and prayer to an Azinamas here too. And I'm very happy that you guys came. When we're young, and I mean it to you guys here, we never felt and we never feel that someday we will grow older, right, Anazina? We never thought of sickness and death. We all feel that we are invincible, aren't we, young 
Uh, we were all young at one time, weren't we? How did you feel when you were young? Did you ever think of death when you were young? But you know it can happen. And I say it to them too, to the young people. I'm not afraid to say certain things from the pulpit. Because I know what life is. I know what the church is. I know what God wants from every one of us. This eulogy is not for Andoni. Andoni's taken care of. This eulogy is for you. The remaining people who, who remain upon this earth who can hear words like these to not scare you. I don't want to scare you. I just want to bring you back to the church if you're not in the church. A true example that I use in my ministry and my eulogies is the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. At the end, we, we heard a prayer saying, Lazarus in the grave four days. Yes, he stayed in the grave four days to give us an understanding of there is resurrection, and that's where I'm coming to. No matter what, how, whatever age we are, when we pass this life, there is a resurrection. We should always be proud that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came to earth and gave his life for us so we can have eternal life. But how do we get this exchange? How do we get this eternal life? It's not easy to get eternal life from God. Yes, he gives it to us as a gift. But there has to be some work and deeds to Christ. Some spiritual work and spiritual deeds that we need to give back to him for what he gave to us. So the equalizer here is that we are all going to die someday and be in front of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ during Judgment Day. When death occurs, it saddens our hearts. And I'm sure the family here is very sad, but they, they live their, 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 their mother and father. I got to hand it to this family here. Not only with the death of the mother, Anazina, how they took care of her. I wish I had children. I don't know yet. We'll see. That could take care of me and my wife in Presbyteria if when we pass, before we pass. We have an obligation as children to take care of our parents because our parents sacrificed their life for us so we can have all the pleasures today that we have around us. Am I right or wrong? Sure I am. But they took care of the mother and Azina. I followed them from hospitals, nursing homes, you name it. I was with them. Am I not right? That's what a good shepherd does. He's good to his children, but he's there also for his children because that's where God is. Wherever the priest is, that's where God is. And some people say, well, where's God? Right here. God is here. I represent God. Every priest represents God. You also represent God by being, giving comfort to people that have this loss to them. And seeing the love that they did and the respect that they had for them both. They were both fighting at all times. I know it. You can smile. I know it. I'm not afraid to say it. We all have our differences. But you know when it comes down to it, these kids should be given a reward for what they've done to their family, to their mother and father. 24 hours a day, they never left his side. Am I right or wrong? Whether it be Yucatina, Yucatina, and John even, and Anazina, and the kids, and Adonia, everybody, even friends came. Friends were giving food and all that to the family. They didn't know what to do with it. Am I right? So man was not created by God to die. He was never created to die but was created with the possibility of not dying. We were given life. We were given eternal life from Adam and Eve. We go all the way back to Adam and Eve. To live forever and not die and suffer what all suffered during their death. But because of sin, remember that, because of sin, it caused us to bring death into the world. And that's why Jesus Christ came into the world 
to die for us, to relieve us of this original sin from Adam and Eve, and give us life everlasting. So when we hear the word of Christ, it is not addressed only to the dead, but to all those who are spiritually dead, meaning that we are physically alive. Remember this, you could be that way, but dead in our spiritual responsibilities towards God. Many times we hear people saying that we live in difficult times, Father, and it's impossible to practice Christ's commandments. There is no difference between others. There is no difference between you and I, because some people say, well, that's the priest's job. That's the priest's job? My, the job of my, mine is to preach and to teach you the commandments of our Lord and to do the right, right things in Christ. That's what my job is. That's why that's my ordination became the heavenly from, from, from the, the heavenly above. The Holy Spirit came down and consecrated in a way on the altar table, my ordination to the diaconate and my ordination to the priesthood so I could be able to preach the word of God and to bring people to, to the church and to bring people to an understanding what their life should be, how they should lead their lives for Christ. So we are all children of God. He loves all his children and doesn't separate his love from us. If the Lord didn't give us eternal life, our life would be pointless if it just ended which is death. This would show that our Lord really doesn't care about us and doesn't truly love us. So then what benefit would there be from what he asks of us, from virtues and good deeds? By Christ's resurrection, he opened the gates of the heavenly kingdom for all of us. Our earthly life is a preparation for the future life, and this preparation ends with death. So today, we all have witnessed for ourselves a chance to witness a funeral should be a reflection and an inspiration to our lives. We witness today a true connection with death, and it always brings upon us a moment of fearful suspense. Yes, it does. And it should, to realize that you could be here and I could be preaching your eulogy or another priest. Most of us do not take death seriously. We go through life pampering ourselves with all the necessities that the world has to offer us. Amen. So you see, God has a purpose in life for all of us. For his glory, Paul, life was not about, St. Paul, life was not about getting things or being happy with his situations. For Paul, life was about pointing others to God. That's what our responsibility is, to point others to God. So we have a ministry to do that. It was about giving God the glory for everything. This is what we should do, is give God the glory for everything. For good times, because they are a blessing, and for bad times too, because God uses them to make us even stronger. God has a purpose for each and every one of us. And he had a purpose for him and his wife also, who passed. We are not floating on a rubber raft now listen to this. I've said this many times in my eulogies. I love this, this example. We are not floating on a rubber raft in the ocean, just nowhere to go and not knowing how to get there. Life has been described as propping a ladder against a wall and spending all your years climbing it. Too many people will climb all their lives only to get to the top and realize they were climbing the wrong wall. So you need to climb the right wall in order to get to Christ. So now I'm going to read to you a little bit about, I don't know if you, if you read this, but this was his obituary, and I'm going to read it to you today. Antonius was born on October 10th, 1939 in Halki, Greece. We just buried a young man, a young man, well, 64 years old. And that was Stanley's brother, Stanley's brother. And he was from Halki too, his parents. Well, yeah, Stanley's from Halki, yeah. Where he proudly served his country in Greek Navy. Served his country. He and his wife, Anazina Sfiriu, migrated to Baltimore, Maryland with their young daughters in 1976, where he established a successful painting company. All while working, Adonius was a loving husband, 
devoted father and adoring grandfather, neighbor and friend. His generosity of spirit existed until the end of his life. Antonio's loved nothing more than to host family and friends and share his love for good food and laugh. Antonio's was predeceased by his wife Anazina, brother Mikhail, and sister Evlambia. He is survived by his daughters Antonia Sviriu, Katina Palace, and her husband John, his most beloved grandchildren. And I'm going to tell you guys, he loved you so much. Dean, Andonius, and Anazina, his dearest siblings, Anar Anargiros, Athanasius, Maria, Tzavika, and Areti, cousins, nieces, and nephews, he will be endlessly missed. So may God, in his travels above, bless his soul and continue to give mercy and repose of his soul as he is with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we have the opportunity. You know, we as Christians have the opportunity. We have this ministry, which is called blessing the soul and praying for the soul. Every time you get a chance to pray for Adoni and his, and his family, for example, and his wife at least, and Azina that have passed, or the ones, your neighbors, your friends, it doesn't matter if you're Orthodox or not, is to pray for their soul, for God to give them mercy, repose of the soul, and hopefully at the end, during judgment, they may enter eternal life as the gift that God gives to each one of his children. Amen. Is there going to be a Macaria? Yeah. Where at? Where? Restaurant. Michael's restaurant over here. Yeah. After the interment of the cemetery, the family would like all of you to join them uh, for the, what we call the Macaria luncheon, okay, in memory of our beloved brother in Christ, Antonio Sfiriu, and that will be at Michael's restaurant on Eastern Avenue. Michael's restaurant. Seafood, right? Yeah. Everybody know where that is? I don't have to give directions because I'm poor in directions. <laughs> it's on Eastern Avenue, and you'll see it on your right-hand side. So you, make, you make, uh, uh, make a right over here and go on Eastern Avenue, and you'll see it there maybe about a mile. Yes, mile down. It's, about, it's called Michael's Restaurant. God be with you, and God give you comfort, the family. With the funeral directions, please come up and give the opportunity for the people to give their last respect.
Come and let and give a farewell kiss to me, whom death has taken, and offer thanks to God for you. He has departed from his bosom of his, his children and his family. He hates the burial, no longer this remembering vanity, nor yet the flesh, which is often sore distressed. Where are now his family members and comrades? Now has come the hour of parting. Let us pray to the Lord to bring him to his rest. moment means your distress of parting, your wailing, what means your funeral dirge. Come and give a kiss to me, so lately that I was with you. For consigned to the grave am I, with stone am I to be covered. Darkness will be my dwelling place, temporarily, <coughs> where the dead is entombed. Come all you, my family, my friends, now has come the hour of parting. Let us pray to the Lord <coughs> to bring him to his rest. So to self is on the Oh, no. 
here prone before you, voiceless and unbreathing. Mourn for me, my brothers and sisters, everyone, and friends, and you who knew me well. For but yesterday with you I was talking, and suddenly there came upon me the fearful hour of death. Therefore come all of you that long for me. Give me a kiss with that last kiss of parting. No for longer shall I walk with you nor talk with you henceforth. For the, to the judge I go, where no person is valued for his, earth, his or her earthly situation. Yes, slave and master together stand before him, king and soldier, rich man and poor man, all accounted of equal rank. For each one according to his or her own deeds shall be glorified, shall be put to shame. Therefore, I beg of you all who are here today and implore you to offer prayer unceasingly for me to Christ our God, that I be not assigned for my sins to the place of torment, but that he assigns me to the place where there is light of life. No, Is 
शिलाले तू ओ तू रंजीज में इस सोबे के गदरी सीसों में प्रिनीज में कई पेरखियों न लेकिन सीसों में स्पीको इधर से सब I shall be clean, wash me, and I shall be whiter than the snow. To the earth and everything in it, the whole earth, and all who live in it are the Lord. You are earth now, and to earth you shall return. To kiri uiging, ke to pliro mafti si kumeni, ke pande si kadi kunde si nafti, gim ke isgin apelavsi. Δι' ευχόν του Ιωτέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημών στους πρέσβους του Ιωτέρων, Λόρ Ιησούς Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημών στους πρέσβους του Ιωτέρων, 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 ελέησον Καλό ταξίδι, εγώ είμαι. Να σε καλό. Let the cats go through this. 